Hi guys, um, I am very excited about what Roland um, launched today. Um, they launched a new software update for the Roland FA06 and the FA08. Now, what they also did was they launched the Roland FA07, which it, uh, to me speaks to the guys that didn't just you know quite fit into the 06 space or the 08 space. Um, so there's an FA07, and also if you didn't like the key action of the 06, but um, didn't really want to go, uh, you know, fully weighted um, like on the FA08, the FA07 is a good compromise because it has the semi-weighted keys. Also, it's a bit shorter. It's longer than the 06, but shorter than the 08. So, um, you know, that should, you know, should be easy you to you know throw into the boot of your car etc so i like it i think it's it's great and and also it's half the weight of the roland fa08 the 08 is about 16 k's um and the 07 is about 8.5 k's which is approximately half um so carrying it, it around and, and lunking the keyboard around is, is quite easier and, you know, um, your chiropractor will, will like you for it. So very excited about the 07, et cetera, but the software update is actually the topic of, of this video. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited um, because I think they, they, they address some of the concerns of, of what the guys had now. Um, I always say this, um, you know, you, you, you buy something and uh, a company is never going to make something specifically for you, for you as an individual. What they do is they try to see what the needs are of the broad demographic or the, the user base, and they try to address that. Now, if you specifically want something, I mean, I just think that's... Um, yeah, um, uh, I'd rather not go into that. Um, but the the updates that they launched today, I think, is absolutely great. Uh, there's a couple of features that I like that I think is going to improve the way that I perform and the way uh, I use my FA08. Um, so I'd like to go through that. Um, so here is an example of my a typical studio set that that i would use so i have my ep on channel one i have my supernatural strings on channel two and then i have a pad um, on three and then i have uh, uh, bells on four now this would be typical of of what i would use in a studio set um, i i usually play in the church uh, setup or for gospel events. So this is how I would use it. Um, and then all my other sets would be exactly the same. Two number uh, Channel 2, 3, and 4 would probably be the same, but then I just change the main sound on channel 1 to maybe an acoustic piano or an organ or a guitar, etc. But I always have sounds that I would like to use throughout the... Um, the event. So I had uh, previously I used to have a couple of studio sets with three or four or actually up to seven or eight sounds that that's maybe you know universal throughout the gig, and then maybe just one um, um, main patch that you know I change um, from studio set to studio set. Now, I did now mention that I use about up to seven or eight sounds, but, you know, that depends on how I split it across the keyboard and how I layer it as well, because polyphony up to now was a bit of a problem. Now, for me, again, it wasn't a problem because it depending, again, on the event that I do, um, I use soft synths as well, so I incorporate main stage and Ableton into... Um, and I use it together with the with the Roland FA, um, and obviously depending on whether you have a great computer or not, um, you don't have a polyphony problem with the sounds that you trigger from your computer. 
but it was a problem for the guy, so I, I hope through this video I can address that as well. So I would now play um, traditionally, let me just make sure I save this. Okay, so I would play with the strings down. So that would be a typical thing. And then what I have is I have a Roland uh, EV5, which is a volume pedal, which you guys can't see. But I only have that assigned to channel 2, which I have the strings on. So as you can see, I'm going to bring the strings up. All right. So now I have the strings laid with the pads etc and i have a nice bell sound here the fantasy one i absolutely love that bell okay then i have the controls to the right there's six knobs to the right of the f8 of which the top left is assigned to cut off i only have the cut off assigned or uh, um, the cut off that parameter will only work on the sound that you have highlighted. In this case, I always have my pad highlighted. So when I get to the chorus, I will open up the cutoff a bit. So then it'll sound like this. And then after the chorus, we go to the, the second verse. And I bring the cutoff back. Okay. So that would maybe be for song one. And then after that, I would quickly have to switch to maybe to another sound, which is then the EP, uh, the acoustic piano. But like I said, number two and three and four should actually be the same as well. But number two and three is exactly the same. And then I also bring in my my strings. Okay. Uh, oh, I see my pad is off. Okay, so. And again, if I was at the chorus, I would open up. to the, the chorus, go back to the verse, I normally close my cutoff again. Okay, so that was a typical uh, switch between studio sets from song to song, etc. But I would normally have uh, sound number two, three, and four. Uh, let me just put this on as well. I think I just see fantasy pad, and I only had it assigned to, let's see, and I think the volume was a bit, I think a 25 is what I had mistaken. but I see my volume pedal. Um, how's that? Okay, so my volume pedal is now only working on my strings.
Yeah. And I never used to have, well, I never used to have uh, polyphony problems because I only layer about uh, two supernatural sounds, which is the acoustic piano and then the strings across the whole keyboard. Then I have a PCM pad, which is only about three quarters of the piano on the bottom three quarters of the, of the, of the key bed. And then I have my bell pad, which is also a supernatural sound, only on the like top 25% of my key bed. So I didn't have polyphony problems. Okay. But, you know, some guys play differently. They hog the sustain pedal, so they reach that limit uh, quite easily. Right. But now, <laughs> with keyboard switch groups, um, it's actually, let me just start a new studio sketch, it's actually quite easy, and, and I think how I would use the switch groups um, from now on would be to at the, I would probably start here at number seven, let me switch that on. Let me just pull up my strings here. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm just going to work quick here as to not waste your time. Uh, I'm going to put my pad there again. What was that? It was a PCM pad. I think it was that emotion pad. There we go. And I also only had it. up to there and then let me switch on my bell pad uh, fantasy bell but I also only had that uh, there and that would I think that was 25% and I think this was also 25% Okay, and then, if I'm not mistaken, I did not have these two respond to volume, and I know I'm going to put my main sounds uh, there, so let me switch off volume for them as well. It's probably only going to be number seven that I'm going to use volume on, because number seven is where my strings live, and I only want my strings to respond to volume. There we go. Okay. So let me save that, uh, let's name that test, okay, and now what I would do um, is I would put uh, my main sound here, I have a piano that I like, that I built myself, uh, which is another thing that the guys complain about. Some guys don't like the sounds of the FA. I say, great, if you don't like the sounds of the FA, build your own one. But you see, they don't want to. Okay, I'm just putting up a couple of sounds here because I want to um, demonstrate. Okay, so I have my acoustic piano there, I have an EP there, and I have some <coughs> guitar there. Right? So, what this update, let me just <laughs> save that before I use it, uh, lose it. So, what the update now allows us to do is if I go into um, pad utility in pad mode, I can now select number eight and make that a keyboard switch group. Right? Now, how this works is I can group sounds together and I can trigger it on my um, my sample pad. So I go to pad utility again. I know already that I'm going to have at least one, two, three different groups. And the different groups is going to consist of my acoustic piano plus the three sounds that I have on seven, eight, and nine. All right? And then the next group is going to be my EP, um, which is going to be 
EP plus seven, eight, and nine, and then my guitar plus seven, eight, and nine, right? So to do that, I go to pad utility, um, and then I want to edit group one. I go into edit, and I turn on, number one is already on, and then I just turn on seven, eight, and nine, right? I exit, I go to my next group, I edit, and I turn on seven, eight, and nine. I exit, I go to my next group, I edit, and I switch on seven, eight, and nine. Exit, right. You can also now see, um, there's actually a, a, a visual representation of um, the channels that you have active for each group. So I have one, seven, eight, and nine, two, seven, eight, and nine, and three, seven, eight, and nine active. I exit, I'm gonna store that in my studio set. Right, so now if I wanna play my acoustic piano, I just press group one. And I have that together with my, my bell pad. I hope you can hear that. I have my strings, which I control on my volume pedal, which lives in channel seven, if I'm not mistaken. And you can hear my pad as well, the emotion pad, which um, lives in channel eight. Yes. So these three sounds is in all three of my groups. So if I go to group one, right? And I'm gonna keep the cursor on my pad because that allows me to control the cutoff, right? Okay, but now I want to change over to my electric piano. I just press group, two, there's my EP, and I still can control my cutoff, and I still have my volume on my string. If I want to switch over to the guitar, I press group three. There's my guitar sound. I still have my pad and I still have my volume. This to me is the single most important feature of the update. I think Roland did an absolute phenomenal job with this. Um, like I said, polyphony wasn't a problem for me uh, before because I, I use soft synths with uh, my FA. Um, and also, I didn't hog the sustain pedal as much. But now, I think it just makes it that much easier. You can have um, up to 16 groups, um, I think the, the manual said. Up to 16 groups you can have. And you can layer it this way. This means for the whole event, you can actually um, have all the sounds that you want um, and switch between them without the sound dropping out. Now, uh, you know, sounds dropping out for other brands is, I think they've set it up a bit easier before the software update. Before this update, I think the other brands had the upper hand in terms of tone remain. This update that Roland did today on the FA series absolutely takes care of that. It wasn't a problem for me personally before, but I think for other guys, it absolutely um, is going to solve the problem. Um, and that's me. Um, give my video a like, give, uh, subscribe to my channel, and um, yeah, hopefully I can do a couple of more reviews. Okay, enjoy.